Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today it's time for another Disney Dreamlight Valley build and today we are going to be making a bookshop. I'm going to do both the interior and the exterior and we are going to use this wonderful house that dropped in the latest update. I'm obsessed with it, I love it and it just calls out for a bookshop because there is kind of a book sign so it makes sense. Anyways, without further ado, let's get into this. Don't forget to like and also subscribe but here's the build. So first up we're going to start with the outside as you can see it's already kind of laid out and that is because before I had this house added to the game and before I bought it I had a little cottage here one of the ones that we got free with the Eternity Isle update and I already had it placed down in my valley elsewhere I was like I don't really want duplicates so I removed that but because of that there is this nice border here there's lots of foliage already there so I just need to make some adjustments I'm gonna tie in the colors that you see in the house with the items that I placed down so there is obviously that blue on the roof and in the bushes there's those red roses as well so I want to kind of tie that in with the colors that I'm going for so we've got the blue on the stools the little pops of red in the flower beds which I thought were cute and then obviously we're gonna have to get in lots of books the stools are kind of awkward to fit them in but you can get them in you just have to if you have like this one for example you just have to make sure it's the same weight as the stool for it to actually go on there the stools are really nice they're really cute and I just want lots and lots of books around here I know when it rains in Dreamlight Valley, it rains hard, but the books might get a little bit wet, but I'm happy to sacrifice that just for getting those aesthetics and really make it feel like a bookshop, which is what I want. I did struggle a little bit with the kind of outdoor placement. The house square is a lot bigger than it actually looks, which can be a one, no, it is probably one of my main gripes with decorating this game, the squares and them being bigger than they appear because I just want to squeeze everything in super close and it does restrict you doing that sometimes but I think you can still make excellent builds here I've seen so many gorgeous things that people have done so it's definitely definitely possible still as you can see I was just kind of trying things around the fountain I really wanted to get in I haven't used it enough I love it and I want to put them everywhere in my valley so wherever I can I'm gonna <laughs> add them and here is kind of a good spot because otherwise there would just be nothing there apart from path so I thought it'd be nice to have a bit of a centerpiece I know the colors do vary slightly from the other things that I'm using but I think that they kind of work because you have the white from the fence there's a little bit of white on the trees as well and on the house I know it's a bit more cream but it still kind of works with it so I've kind of got the whole setup for the books that I want so far. The next thing we need to do is just work on that kind of outer, the kind of finishing touches, the path and things. It did feel quite natural with the whole way that it's snaky. I didn't want it to be like a, a square just plonk there. So I definitely tried to keep with the curves so that it matches the rest of this whole kind of biome that I've done. I am gonna be doing an updated valley tour very soon. I just, this was one of the reasons why I didn't do it because I removed my cottage from here and I had this sat here for about two weeks. Like, I'm gonna do this build, I'm gonna do this build. Um, and then I just never got around to it. I just put it off and put it off like typical me fashion. But anyway, um, updated Valley Tour is gonna be coming very soon. So make sure you keep your eyes peeled for that. And if you're not already, make sure that you subscribe so that you can see that when it comes out. And I don't know if it makes a difference, but there is a notification bell for a reason. So I don't know how well it works, YouTube being YouTube sometimes, but nonetheless, hit that as well if you want to be notified. And then we do have, I did decide to add in this red carpet because I was like, it's kind of cute. It's like a little bit of a doormat. And I tried around with some other different rugs, just seeing how they would fit. The leaf piles for me, as much as I love them, I don't love them so much with this path. So I decided against them. Instead, I just carried on with what I've been doing in this area adding in some small little rocks and I wanted more flowers everything just felt very green so I added in another flower bed which caused me to move around this bush just so it doesn't like hide the flowers too much I didn't want it to have too much height so you couldn't see it and then I thought it'd be nice to have a little bit of a signpost just directing people like hi there is a shop here please come buy my books <laughs> I don't know it doesn't have a bookshop side on it but it still looks kind of cute and I did kind of mess around with the placement of it just to see if I could get it to fit in better I couldn't so I just had to go back and leave it how it was before which is fine it's sometimes you have to experiment with things and see if they work and if they don't work and if you have to put it back where it was that's also fine the undo button in this game is like 
a lifesaver so much. Earlier today, I realized as I was editing this that I didn't have like a picture of the house alone and I wanted it. So I quickly just went into F mode and moved the house into an area so I could get a nice shot of it without the build, without spoiling everything. So it was nice to just place it and then you could just hit undo and not have to worry about it. It was great, love that feature. Anyway, I feel like I'm very negative about the game sometimes. So I'm like, I just need to hype it up where I can and that is definitely something that I will hype up happily and then I've just wanted to add these in there isn't a lot of the one tile kind of foliage that I think kind of works with the forest but this one I don't mind it is quite a vibrant green but it kind of works and then I was getting near the end and I was like something is just missing I just want to add in more stuff so I tried a bench and it just kind of looked like okay here's a bench and don't get me wrong it did look cute but i was like i really want like a reading spot because it's a bookshop maybe like somewhere nice to sit and just read your book so i had spent a while trying to figure out what bench looked good and then i did quickly come to the conclusion that i don't think a bench is the right idea um i could have used a touch of magic maybe redone the bean bags and stuff that could have looked cute with some red but then i found this chair and i was like there is a lot of blue that feels like there's a lot of blue so let's add in a little touch more red and this chair is quite fancy so <laughs> it looks comfortable it looks like a throne so why not have like a reading throne not just a chair a whole throne dedicated to it i love it i tried to add in this chair this little table as well just to kind of give it some height and then i did I was like, have I made a mistake with the fountain? Should I remove it? And then I was like, nah, we're just gonna leave it. It just, for some reason, it just keeps standing out at me. But I'm like, it's cute. We're just gonna leave it there. So here is the finished exterior. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the exterior and that build. Now it's time to get to the inside. And as you can see, this color scheme is a little bit different. I did have a few difficulties getting the bookshelves in as I wanted. For some reason, they kind of glitch out sometimes, but you do have to just adjust them slightly. So why did I choose a pinky purple interior? Because, well, I felt like there isn't enough nice blue and red furniture that would lend itself to a nice, cozy quaint maybe a little bit whimsical bookshop so that is why i've gone for the pink and the purple and i think there's some great furniture that kind of works with this like the tangled furniture cannot wait to use some of that so we're definitely going to try it and incorporate some of that here as you can see what i'm doing here is kind of working on the back i'm going to try and work from the back forward and this area is where I want to be behind the counters. So everything you might just be able to see like peeking through the build. And those paintings, I actually forgot that I got them recently in Scrooge's shop. A great, great kind of set of artwork. And I tried to kind of get some stuff in the back here just to make it a bit more interesting. And then I thought, why not use the projector? And I wasn't sure if I came out of the projector, the build mode, whether the projector would be on. So I had to just double check that quickly. And it does. And it's like glitter and beautifulness and smoke it looks really cute so hopefully we can get some of that peeking through a little bit i wanted to i kind of wanted it to be a bit bigger like more of an effect and i wish maybe with that furniture item and if that is something that they're going to do going forward with adding cool little effects because they're great for dream snaps so if we have something like that but maybe more you could gauge it as to how much you want it to be, how intense you want it, how big you want it, like a little slider, that would be amazing. Have different interaction options would be amazing. As you can see, I've also added in lots more bookshelves. I have had to go for these ones as opposed to the ones that were at the back. And that's just because these ones can actually freestand where the other ones, they just seem to latch onto walls and you can't adjust them very well, which isn't great. And then here are the Corona pillars. Absolutely love these. And I thought that these would make a great kind of centerpiece for where the whole shop kind of stall, the cashier, checkout desk, whatever you want to call it, is going to be. And for that, I decided to use these counters and just rotate them because I wasn't so much of a fan of having the front of them on display. So I decided to rotate them around like that. And I think it works nicely. I think it worked okay. And then I'm just going to put down some furniture that I might want to use because 
I know since they fixed the whole scrolling thing, it's great to be able to save where you were and I love that. I love that so much because it was really driving me a little bit crazy when it came to decorating and you lost your place and you wanted to place 10 of one item, but now we don't have to worry about that. But finding items is still a bit of a struggle for me. Um, if you have any tips, please share them with me because I don't know what people are doing. I try and use the filters the best I can, um, but sometimes you still end up with lots of furniture. I have so much furniture and it's slightly overwhelming at times, slightly overwhelming. I decided to add in these lanterns, which I just thought were cute, just so that I can add in a little bit more color, add in some light, and they just work really nicely. I thought about putting them behind the stool, but I think they kind of work here as well. But having them rotated so they're kind of all mixed match is nice as well. And then this tree is one of my favorites and I'm just gonna use it to block off some of the back waves there, just so it's there and you don't really get that odd gap sneaking through too much. I mean, it's gonna be there, but it is what it is. I, you're not gonna be able to access behind there, which I kind of want because I want the whole shop to be separated. I don't want people to go, go into different rooms. Only that it's me, really, that will be going into different rooms. But I don't want you to be able to do that because it's going to be all about this kind of section. And then this is me doubting my wallpaper choice. <laughs> like, I was like, have I made the right choice? I kind of tried out some other ones and then I decided no. I like the ones that I had in the beginning. There were some really nice ones which I would have loved to have used. But the kind of sectioning of them doesn't work so well. Like, I don't know. The... The wall was just a bit off and skew if and I don't want it to be skew if I want it to be centered and then this table is going to be my main center table you know how when you go into bookshops they have like those tables and all the books laid out so I really wanted to add this in and that means that I can make a nice little display hopefully I was trying to conceal more gaps here and when I saw the coffee truck I was like yes the staff in this shop are gonna need coffee so I decided to add that in a bit random maybe but you might not really be able to see it but maybe you will and it will just kind of poke through a little bit and then we're just gonna add lots and lots of books here some stuff at the front um, I added in the quill because I can't really think of anything that I can use as a cash register if anyone has any ideas as to what to use as a cash register so I thought this is gonna be an old-fashioned bookshop they're gonna do everything by quill and feather and write it down in a book like have a bookshop book for selling things I don't know I don't know what I'm talking about now that's a bit of an odd an odd thing to say but you know what I mean like a log a ledger is that what they're called I think that's what they're called um anyway to write down all of the sales and then when the tax man says hey you you need to pay your taxes for the end of the year then they can kind of go back and look through all the bits of paper oh technology how grateful we are for technology nowadays imagine having to do everything by pen and paper nowadays it would be so hard anyway back to the build enough talking about taxes and not fun stuff um i tried to use these candles and then i kind of panicked a bit i was like do, do these candelabras need more than one square but thankfully they didn't so i put one either side hopefully the wax doesn't drip down onto the books that i'm trying to sell because that would be a disaster but they still look kind of cute and give that like light effect to the room which is nice that glowing effect is nice I cannot take my eyes off the falling pink leaves in the corner. I just love that tree so much. If you were to say to me, buy anything from the premium shop that is a furniture item, 100% recommend that turning red item, the turning red bundle, just for that tree. I have used it so much. It's so elegant, it's so pretty, it's really versatile. This is now just me gushing over the tree. For some reason, these books couldn't fit on the counter, and I wasn't sure why, but... Um, yeah i don't know why i kept trying it's clear that they weren't gonna work so we'll have to put something else there later and then i was just trying to scroll through and see if i'd missed any other kind of items that might look okay that might get away with being in a bookshop i had definitely nearly exhausted all of the book items and then i found these binders that were from the um monsters inc stuff i decided to add the project more projectors i should say in behind the cashier desk because i was like we're gonna have whimsical floating cloud and glitter everywhere because why not we can do and that is what we're gonna do so i think we're nearing the end now the la one of the last things that i wanted to do was just add in some branches to get some more lights some more glowiness in here because i don't it does feel quite dark but i don't want it to be too dark 
And then there we have it. I think that's pretty much it done. So there we have it. I hope you enjoyed watching these builds with me. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to also like on your way out and leave me a comment. Let me know whether you preferred the interior or the exterior and whether this has inspired you. Do you have any shops in your valley? I would love to hear about them. I'll see you again soon with another video. Have a great rest of your day. Goodbye.